Okay, unleash the hounds, baby, because I am telling you, we have figured out how to bound the range. I'm uh, going to have to start calling me the range queen for sure, because we know that uh, the markets like to um, use standard deviations and the um, normal, if there's a normal distribution, uh, and you can estimate where that first deviation is going to be and convert that from the percentage to how many points uh, that you will have available to trade. And so let me show you what that looks like uh, right here. The um, IB range, like if you had the first half of your uh, standard deviation, that is the PT1, 2725. So you will be able to calculate uh, 27 points for that uh, period. And if it exceeds your first deviation, it's going to go to the, to the 2. And then if it exceeds the 2, hopefully it'll go to the 3. It's not always going to reach the 3, and sometimes it won't even reach the 2. It'll just bounce between the 1s. But uh, you can tell what the market condition is like through your other indicators. And I have a system of using, you know, momentum and linear regression to show me when a market is flat and um, not really worth bothering uh, with. So, um, but you can set these uh, ideally to trade uh, from the median out to the first standard deviation or the second. And so that's my world, um, trading from the median to the one to the two. And once I realized that I could set my own distribution, my own custom distribution by using the open, uh, and then set my distribution around that using, say, the first hour initial balance of uh, 14 periods, then I can get my 1, 2, and 3 up and down and trade to my 1 and 2 other rinse repeat. So if I get a signal uh, off the open, I trade to the two, one, or the, the one is the yellow and the two. Uh, you can also trade to the three, but just the one and two, um, pretty high probability. Here we got both of them, one and two. And then I just stopped trading at that point, one and done and uh, one and two. One and two. Got it again. So that's what I'm trying to focus in off of the open. And I did a uh, back test of it, which you guys, I'll give you this template. The reason I was successful finally at getting this done like this is because after the um, target is reached, I figured out how to toggle it. And thanks to Zach um, and his toggling videos, um, he was he walked us through that solver and I was able to follow his instructions. Thank you very much, Zach. And so now we can toggle that once the uh, target is reached, you won't get any more signals outside that range. So like I said, unleash the hounds, baby, because all we have to do is put some filters on it. I use linear regression, momentum, and I was talking to someone about the ATR to kick start it out of the um, gate. You could use like a 34, 1.5, or whatever you like for ATR, and that just gives you that extra bar so that you're not entering on a small bar to try to get to a target. And lather, rinse, repeat, and like I said, just pretty good results. Um, very good. I mean, this is the five minute, I'm sorry, here's the five minute. I've got a three percent, or three profit factor, and a 65 percent percent profitable. Um, it's just a very unique methodology of trading, creating our own um, distribution, custom distribution using that um, time frame and um, oh, 
I'll be glad to get this template out to you so that you can perform the back test. And my success came being able to get, use that toggle node. So I have to thank Zach for this, um, shutting the um, signal off once you reach the target. Very important. So the one minute chart is still uh, good. Very good. So for those who like to trade a one minute chart instead, but, well, I can't grab it. Um, a little bit noisier, of course, and 191 profit factor, 54% profitability, um, and not too um, great of a difference on that, you know, you would think that the five minute would carry more risk, just a little bit, but I do like that uh, fact that the winning trade is much larger than the uh, losing trade still very very good results for a one minute chart and um, so I'll get the um, templates out to you uh, for your testing uh, for Tuesday session get those out to you tomorrow and we'll look forward to using the template now that we've figured out how to um, use that toggle node and then we can do this like I'm saying trade the breakout from the PT3 because when it breaks out to go to that next range we can set up our breakout trades like I've got them set up these are all toggled there's a breakout outside rally something happened to my logic Oh well, I've got to fix this um, to make it go from the PT3. I think I did change it. Um, I'm always changing them. So I need to get this fixed up to take from the PT3 out. And um, that'll be our outside afternoon rally. Alright, so very much looking forward to having these two strategies. One right out of the gate. And... Um, the other one uh, for the outside rally. But my PT123 is exactly what I want. I've been uh, waiting to get this done for a while. So uh, the toggle node really, really helped fix, fix the strategy. So it stops trading and all that. That's what you want. Thank you guys. Talk to you soon.